Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna try and take this copter right here and make it go over 100 miles an hour. Basically, uh, the current setup that I have is the Red Bottom Emax 2300 KV motors, 30 amp ESCs, the Racecraft 5051 props got me to about 95 miles an hour. And basically the good people at Emax said, hey, do you think you could get over 100 miles an hour if you try some of our new motors? I said, well, there's only one way to find out. What I have here is the new Emax um, S-Series motors. This is the brand new set of motors that they've came out with. They're, they're lighter weight and give you about 100 grams more thrust per motor. Um, I have a 2300 kV and the 2600 kV. Now, usually I'm not a big fan of uh, high pitch props and high kV. So these are my 2300s. It gives a, a lot of uh, low end um, torque. If you go to a 2600 kV motor, you're gonna have less punch in the low end, but higher top end. So in the interest of speed, I wanna go ahead and try the 2600 kV motors on here. Uh, I might drop back to the 2300s if I don't like it, but uh, let me just open one of these up here. If you guys are following my Facebook uh, feed, you'll see that uh, I had a quick video on these last night. They give you some nice Emacs stickers here. And as always, they are really nicely packaged with a perfect uh, size wrench, two sets of uh, mounting screws, and the actual motor. Uh, and some of the standout features of this motor is a steel hollow core shaft, curved magnets uh, with very low tolerances here, which is really nice, and the uh, hex screw at the very bottom for making swapping out bells very easily. Um, which is a really, really nice thing uh, if you're at a race and you've got to swap things out very quickly. So um, you're going to notice also here the stack height of the motor is just much lower, if you guys can see this here. So a lot smaller. So basically, um, the this motor and the 2300 kV size, uh, the, the outer casings are exactly the same. It's mainly the windings. Uh, which makes it either 2300 kV or 2600 kV. So same exact form factor for both motors, but just just wound differently. So you can easily see here the big difference of, of the can size here. So you're gonna have this weight carried a little bit lower in the frame. So you're getting a lighter motor with 100 grams more thrust and lighter weight. So, so I'm gonna start off here by just taking off the props. Um, I'll stop the video here. I'll, you guys can rejoin me in a moment. Yeah, guys, just a quick tip. Uh, don't let your motors just sit around on your bench if your bench isn't super clean. Uh, because obviously the magnets can pick up any little bit of iron filing that might be on your desk. So keep them in the little tub here so that keeps all the uh, debris out of the motors. Okay guys, so the way I go about doing a motor swap is first I'm going to remove the motor screws and then I'm going to take off the, uh, the motor wires from the ESCs here. Okay guys, now that I have the motors removed from the frame, uh, basically we need to desolder each pad here and it's great to have a cotton plier or a um, tweezer to handy to go ahead and grab each one of these um, motor pads as we uh, desolder here. Uh, make sure your soldering iron is ready and hot and we'll get, get started. Okay guys, so we desoldered each ESC from the motor and while this is a part, I actually took a cloth and cleaned up all my carbon because, you know, this thing's been in the dirt so many times. It's kind of funny as I was desoldering things, it kind of started smelling like a campfire because I think there was so much debris inside my ESCs. So uh, clean up things while you're at it here because you don't get your motors off very often unless you're doing some replacing, replacements like uh, we are today. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna place each motor here and then cut each wire to size, tin everything, and then uh, go ahead and solder everything together. We'll need to run this through BL Heli Suite to make sure that all of the motors are, are rotating the proper direction. If not, we can switch the motor direction in BL Heli Suite. Uh, and also going through BL Heli Suite, we'll be able to keep all of these uh, motor wires really straight so we don't have to cross any two if one is running backwards because you can do that through the suite, okay? Okay guys, one thing to note is that these motors come with cap head screws uh, rather than the um, socket head screws, um, which are much uh, bigger, bulkier, and heavier, and they tend to get scuffed up a little bit more. 
So let me just make sure that this is going to be able to go through the carbon fiber here. Yeah, it just barely goes through the carbon fiber, so I'm wondering if I might need to use those other screws because I have a very, this is a very thick frame. So let's see, um, let me see what the difference is in screw size here. Okay, so this is the screw I was using on the other motors. You can see that those are definitely longer, so I'm actually going to not use these. I wish these screws were a little bit longer for a five millimeter uh, thick frame, but it looks like uh, I'm gonna have to use my old screws, which is just fine. And guys, the way I do this is I actually just um, put one screw to hold the motor in, get everything soldered up, and then I go on to the next. That way I can take it off and then put Loctite on it afterwards. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Loctite everything uh, right now, and let me just show you guys the Loctite that I use. Okay guys, so this is the stuff I've been using for years, and you can get this from the uh, automotive store. Now this is red. I typically use blue, but I ran, I'm, I lost my blue <laughs> like about a year ago. Um, and but what this is is like it's like a chapstick. So all you have to do is take your screw, just nip off a little bit of it, then take your fingers and just work it right into the threads like that. Now you have your Loctite and it's ready to go into the motor. It's not messy and it goes right in. And don't worry that it's red Loctite. I know lo red Loctite it says that it's permanent. This one that's in the chapstick is less permanent, so you don't have to worry about you know uh, getting your screws stuck into your motors. So like I said, I've been using this for years. It's one of those little tips that a lot of you guys don't know about, so I thought I'd pass that right along. So now I'm just gonna put this on time lapse and I'll go ahead and secure all the motors. Okay guys, so we've desoldered the old motors, soldered on the new motors, put the, all the screws in with some Loctite. Now we're going to take my computer, hook it up to BL Heli Suite, and make sure that the motor direction is going correct. We'll check that out right now. Okay guys, I have BL Heli Suite uh, up and running here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my quad, and we're just going to test motor rotation. So uh, I'm going to go into the motors tab. I'm going to find out which motor is going the proper direction. Uh, in this, you have to have props off, obviously. You click that, I understand the risks, and you have your pro propellers removed. So what I do is I hit, click here, and I just hit the upward tab here. Up, 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 till we get a min throw. Oh, well, I, I need to plug in a battery. All right, so what we want to do is click on this little tab right here, and sorry I don't have a screen capture device. I haven't uh, delved into that yet. I'm going to press upward motor here till we see the motors jumping here so this motor I can already tell is going the proper direction and we're gonna bring up the throttles here okay that one's going the right direction that one's going the right, right, right direction that's going the proper direction yay we don't have to switch directions on anything so we're ready to fly so everything is working really nice so the next uh, video that you guys are gonna see is me out in the field with this uh, we're gonna do a little um, test to see how uh, everything's working and I'll see you guys soon